we are going to use a power series to integrate t over 1 minus t to the eighth power dt. If you just decide to integrate this by itself and try to come with a nice function, I think it's going to be extremely hard. So that's why we want to use a power series to do this. So the strategy is we come up with a power series for the inside function t over 1 minus t to the eighth power and then integrate that. So let's focus on the inside. So I'm still going to integrate and then the connection between this and our best friend is that we can put a t on the side such as like this multiply it with 1 over 1 minus t to the eighth power and this is still dt and then we can focus on the t to the eighth power I get to plug this into our best friend because this match with our form so I'm still working with the um, series we have the integral t times this is going to be sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity and we have t to the 8 right here t to the 8 into the x and then raised to n power so we have t to the a n power so t to the a n power and then this is still dt well we have uh, one more t in the front so we can take this t multiply it inside so therefore we have the integral summation when n goes from 0 to infinity t raised to the 8 n plus 1 more power so a n plus 1 so anyways what we're doing is this right here it's the same as that and then I should tell to talk about the, uh, the radius convergence along the side along the way um, because we're plugging t to the 8th power into our power series right so I know that this is true from here to here is true for the absolute value of t to the 8 to be less than 1 which is equivalent I can just take the 8th rule on both sides which is equivalent to say the absolute value of t is less than 1 and that's pretty much the radius of convergence which is 1 alright and now let's integrate this t to the a n plus 1 power to integrate that we add 1 to the exponent and then we divide it by the new exponent. So divide it by 8n plus 1 plus 1, which is plus 2. So, and don't forget, whenever you integrate, there's always a plus c. But then for the um, integrating a series, we put on c first. So c plus. This is going to be sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity. And when we integrate, we don't lose a term. So we can for sure that n starts with uh, 0 up to infinity. And this is pretty much our integral. t to the 8n plus 2 over 8n plus 2. That's it. This integral is that. But then, as you can see, we integrate this series. And the series converge when the absolute value of t is less than 1 and that's the radius convergence so I should just indicate that because of this, this is r is equal to 1 whenever we integrate a series the radius of convergence stays the same so we know this is true under the radius of convergence which is the same as 1 so this right here completes that's it